Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android Studio Tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about another important resource in Android called the Fragment API. The Fragment API is available from Android version 3.0 and above. If you want to get support from Fragment API for Android version lower than 3.0, you need to add the Android supporting libraries. So a Fragment will help us to create flexible and dynamic user interface very easily. So by using a fragment you can easily create dynamic and flexible user interface. Also by using a fragment you can manage your application appearance in different screen resolutions. And you can divide your activity into modules using a fragment. So before going to learn, before going to enter into the programming section with the fragment, you need to know what is the exact use of a fragment in Android. So here I am going to show you two examples that will show you what is the exact use of a fragment in an Android application. So here is the first example. So this is a single activity with the two fragment. So on the first fragment there is a list view is available. On that list view, I display some Android versions name. So if you select any of these Android versions, you can see some descriptions at the right side. This is the second fragment. So here, if you working with only activity, you have to create two activity. The first activity is for displaying the Android versions name and the second activity is for displaying the versions description. But here, by using a fragment, I use only a single activity, but that activity contains two fragments. This is one of the most important use of fragment. You can manage your application appearance in different screen sizes. This is a tablet AVD, that means there is a lot of spaces are available. So here, I display two fragments in this single activity layout. So I will show you the layout file. So this is the main activity layout. Here I add two fragments. This is the first fragment that will display the Android version's name and this is the second fragment that will, that will display the Android uh, version's description. Okay, so by using fragment you can easily manage your application appearance in different screen sizes or resolution. That is one of the most important use of fragment. Now I will show you another example. Okay, now this is another example that will show you another important use of fragments in Android. So this is a simple login activity. Suppose if the user is a new user, we have to display another activity that contain the registration information. So if you are working with only activities, we have to create another activity to show you to show the user registration information. But if you are working with the fragments, you can use the same activity to display both the login form and the registration form. So if I click the new user text view, here the first fragment is replaced with the second fragment. So this is the registration form. I will show you it again. So this is the application fragment example 2. Yeah, this is the login module. This is the first module in this activity. So a fragment can, a, by using a fragment we can easily divide an activity into modules. So this is the first module in this activity, the login module. So now I click the new user. This is the second module on the same activity. So instead of using two activity, you can use two fragments to display two forms. Okay. So now I will show you the layout file. This is the layout file activity main.xml file. So here is a relative layout is available within this layout. So by using this relative layout, actually I replace the first fragment with the second fragment. Actually this relative layout is the container for the fragments. So that is another important feature of fragments. You can easily add or remove a particular fragment while the activity is running. That is very important. That is very important use of fragment in Android. So don't confuse with these code segments. We will learn all these things in the coming up tutorials. 
So I hope you understand what is the exact use of fragments in Android. So in the next episode onwards, we are going to learn how to add a fragment into your Android application. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.